So I get asked a lot, how do I do this, how do I do that? My app is having errors and I keep trying to respond to all those messages but the problem is they are all scattered around. Some are sent to my email, some to the comments. So I feel that having a forum will be the best place where we can share our errors, our problems and find solutions to everyone. Okay, so we've added this forum section to the blog. To get to the forum, you go to appcoms.com slash community or just click on the community link from the blog. Once you get to the community, you will find out that we have created three main topics. All right. So the first one is the general discussion. You have computer inventory management project. You have a store management project. All right. So these are the two main projects that are currently running on our YouTube channel and also on the blog site. All right. So, but if you have any general um, issues or maybe you're trying to do something on your own and you have an error, or you want to ask questions or you just want to discuss something that is not related to the computer inventory management project or the store management click on the general discussion so this is generally about anything Django anything web development whatever you want to ask send it to the general discussion and we will try to answer as much as possible all right so but if you have anything specific to the computer inventory management project please click on that this link the computer inventory management project and ask the questions there all right so while asking the question you also have the opportunity to take a screenshot of and upload it before you do that you'll have to register to our blog site so that you'll have the login credentials and without logging in you'll be able to browse around and see what people are discussing on the community but you will not be able to participate so you will need to register by clicking on the register link or you can click on sign up if you click on the sign up so once you click on the sign up you'll have this form so fill this form and then click on submit so once you submit once you click on submit you'll receive an email to validate the email address you sign up with and once that is done you'll be able to log in to the site and also the forum or the community section all right so now to log in just click on profiles slash login i logged in as this user so from here you can head to the community and start the discussion or participate on any running topic all right so i'm trying to build a computer inventory management system and i have an error so i want to ask correction or want i want to get help i'm gonna go to computer inventory management project and then click add topic so here you can say i have an error on models the py all right so you can describe the error that you have and then attach the picture or relevant files you can describe the error that you have or you, what you're trying to accomplish and and then you can click on choose file so here i have a picture of my model i'm gonna double click on it and upload it but before you click on add topic you can subscribe to this so that when somebody respond to this topic you'll be able to have a notification or an email alert that something is going on on the community that needs your attention all right so i'm gonna click add topic okay when i scroll down i will see that i've submitted a forum or a topic that others can see and respond so i want to attach another file i'll just click on edit and then choose another file let's say this time is the error page and i'm gonna click update okay so you can see now i have two files this is the models of py screenshot and this is the error screenshot now if i click on this you can see it will open up so from here i will be able to see what you actually typed in your models of py or in whatever file that you have and then the other file will be the error page that is the page that is loading the app that is the browser error so right if we can have these two um, pictures or something similar to this 
you will be able to know exactly what you're trying to do and what error are you having so that we will be able to help you quickly and it will all be at one place so you can get help from us or any other member of the community so this is the beauty of having this community so that people can interact and try to help one another all right so if i want to respond let's say now i'm another user i want to respond to this um post or i want to respond to this topic i'm gonna scroll down and click on reply below here i'm gonna type the reply So let's see now this was the solution that I wanted to give this user I can say delete line 5 or specify whatever I think will be able to fix the issue the user is facing so then I can click reply so this is what I wanted to show you on this video and I hope it will help you if you like this video click on the like button if you're not subscribed yet please click on the subscribe button and see you in the next one